So now that gets into the addiction side because I do get asked that question a lot is um, whether it's alcohol or, you know, the opiates these days, how, how does that work with, with opiate clients or alcoholics or, like I said, people suffering from addiction? So ketamine really does well with negating the withdrawal effects for especially patients who are on opiates. Say they're in pain and they're on a ton of opiates and they want to get down off the opiates. Right. They wean down off of it. patient is addicted to medications or to alcohol. What it does, it helps the depression part or the anxiety part that's creating the dependency on the medication they're on, like alcohol. Right. The reason why people drink, why initially, yes, to become a dependent on the medication because they have a feeling inside of them that they do not like and they're escaping from it some way, shape, or form. Either they're very anxious and so alcohol helps them calm down and then it couples into a big giant problem right. later on or when they do opiates because usually they're prescribed for pain initially because, but then they really help them feel good all over. Maybe they had depression before or some sort of mental health issue they were struggling with, it becomes an easy way to escape from the feeling they felt of uncomfortability inside them, and then right. they snowball into overuse. What ketamine does, it negates that because it helps you feel better about yourself. So the demand or the need for the medication that you used is not there anymore. So the way I'm understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, is if the, the drugs or alcohol are basically a symptom of a deeper rooted problem, and the idea is for the ketamine is to fix that deeper rooted problem. Yes, for most patients, okay. yes. And now, how do we know they're not going to become addicted to ketamine? Medically supervised is the best way to do it because if it was treat anything, it's very hard to supervise yourself or to have stops because you're coming into an office, you're being asked questions, you're basically demanded to know how you're doing, what you're doing, what type of things you're going on in your life. It becomes a whole routine, it becomes a ritual, it becomes it's what I have to do and I know I can get better. Mm -hmm. So you're able to actually trust somebody else instead of yourself and then you're getting help every other avenue with therapy and with medication right. in a medically controlled setting. Physically though speaking, Ketamine, you can't get addicted to it. It's not physically dependent. You not can get you can get psychologically dependent, like caffeine. But as far as being you know addicted to it, it has no physiological dependency. Okay, yes, and so you you don't have a withdrawal period if you do too much, or like say you did street ketamine for a long time. You stop, you stop. You're not going to withdraw from right. it, except for psychologically, where you feel like you have to have it, but it's not your body craving it. Right. So with right. alcohol, with opiates, your body craves it. It hurts. It's painful. Yes. Ketamine does not have that.